Deutsche Bank, back in the news today. If there's one word that best describes Deutsche's banking practices based on all of the published reports that we have read over the last couple of years, it is this, sloppy. While most banks try to at least make the impression that they're playing by the rules, Deutsche Bank seems to have been making up its own rules as it goes along. Their latest issue, a $150 million fine tied to none other than <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. Here is RT correspondent John Huddy. Deutsche Bank agreeing to pay the state of New York a $150 million fine for sketchy financial transactions related to Jeffrey Epstein. New York State Department of Financial Services Superintendent Linda Lacewell saying in a statement, quote, Deutsche Bank failed to adequately monitor the activity of customers that the bank itself deemed to be high risk. In the case of Jeffrey Epstein in particular, despite knowing Mr. Epstein's terrible criminal history, the bank inexcusably failed to detect or prevent millions of dollars of suspicious transactions. Lacewell said the bank processed hundreds of transactions totaling millions of dollars that at the very least should have prompted additional scrutiny in light of Epstein's history, including payments to individuals publicly alleged to have been Epstein's co-conspirators in sexually abusing young women, settlement payments of more than $7 million, and legal expenses of Epstein and his co-conspirators of more than $6 million payments to Russian models, hotel and rent expenses, and consistent with public allegations of prior wrongdoing, payments directly to numerous women with Eastern European surnames. Along with all that, suspicious cash withdrawals of more than $800,000 over four years. Deutsche Bank had a financial relationship with Epstein from 2013 to 2018. And according to the consent order, Deutsche Bank was aware of suspicious cash activity throughout the relationship. And the bank continued to maintain the relationship for years despite additional red flags. The bank cut ties with Epstein in 2018 after the Miami Herald published its investigative series about Epstein's sordid history and questionable prosecution under the contentious 2008 plea deal. The statement doesn't name any of Epstein's co-conspirators. FBI agents and NYPD detectives arrested Ghislaine Maxwell in New Hampshire July 2nd on charges of sex trafficking minors and perjury. She's long been accused of helping to recruit and abuse the young women and girls Epstein allegedly abused for many years, some of them as young as 14 years of age. Maxwell is currently locked up at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn on 24-hour suicide watch. One of the big questions, what incriminating evidence does she potentially have on Epstein's rich and powerful friends who have also been accused of being involved with his nefarious behavior? Federal authorities are intent on keeping Maxwell alive to answer that question and many others, unlike they were able to do with Epstein.